ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be making this low poly robot. So I made this in Blender at school the other day, um, and I'm just going to show you how I basically went through the steps of creating this. So I've got the blend file here. I won't go through the lighting and the scene setup or, just, or the materials. I'll just go through the basic modeling steps I went through. Um, so let's go into our second layer here. I'm going to go into front view, orthographic mode. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shift A and I'm going to add my cube. I'm going to squash the cube a bit and create a more boxy rectangular shape, something like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this using Shift G and bring up to make a head. Like so. Now you can make your robot's head as big or small as you like. I'm going to make a more rectangular shaped robot than the other one. And the last bit is to duplicate this again and bring it down on the Z and flatten it like so and then go into edit mode hit control T con uh, control tab and change it to vertex select go wireframe select the top vertices here zoom in E to extrude scale pull. to create a shape like so and select the bottom vertices and we're just gonna make it more rounded and that's our base of our robot so now that the main steps have been done to create the body we're going to create the neck and uh, connecting valve and also the shape that will create the arms to do this we're going to add another cube We'll move it over to the side a bit, scale it down. Around, you need to make the size, that's a good size for your pipe. And to make the pipe, we're going to edit mode and wireframe mode, select the top vertice, hit E, click, scale in a bit, E to extrude, click, pull out so it matches there, and E up. And that's the piece that we use to create our neck. I'm just going to shift D that so we don't lose it. Okay, sorry about that. Um, computer messed up for a second. Um, okay, now we've got our pipe shape. We're going to G to move it into our decided position. And we can scale it down a bit, actually. And you're going to go add an array modifier and make sure it's going up vertical um, vertical sorry my bad and you just want the shape joining the other shape so 0 0.7 works for mine and that creates the neck and you can shift G and also the attaching piece for our section here and it just count on the Y so it's normal And that is our uh, pipe done. I'm just going to scale it up a bit. Something like so. So my robot here has quite a fat body. But that's okay. The next step is to create the head shape. So to do this, I'm just going to go into edit mode and I'm going to hit control tab, select the first face here and just hit scale and I'm just going to hit E, click then scale. 
I'm going to have my mouth in the center of his face. Something like so. The next bit is to create the eyes. To do the eyes, I just added a cylinder with 16 vertices. And depending on how big or small you want the eyes, you can go ahead and alter that shape. And that's how I created my eyes. Bring them down. Move it over to the other side and just alter the shape like so and you've got your two eyes for your robot. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make his arms. To do the arms I'm going to add a curve, a bezier, and I'm just going to RX90 to get it in the right shape. Go into edit mode and adjust the nodes so they're in position. Yep, yeah, I'm liking that shape. I'm going to move that just there. I'm then going to Shift G, Shift D to duplicate this shape. I'm then going to move it over into place. I'm going to add a array modifier, an array modifier, and a curve modifier, and make it attached to our Bezier curve number. Uh, one, and I'm just going to 0 0.7, and I'm just going to, oh, wait, this is 0 0.7, and I'm just going to keep on adding until we reach the end of our curve like so and when we do I'm just going to apply this and move it in and move it down this way and adjust the curve as you like move that out the way. So that's how I created my arms. Now to create the hands and fingers, I'm going to add a pentagon or pentagonal prism. So five vertices on our cylinder. I'm going to rotate on the x-axis as we do, and I'm just going to scale it down. and put it in our shape like so. And that's our hand done. For our fingers, I added a cube, scaled it way down. Select those two vertices. And created fingers like that. Very simple. Just multiple extrusions and turning on the Y axis. And that is the main bit of our robot. Ah, can't forget the buttons on the front. To create the buttons, you just add a cylinder. Something like so.
and for the shape on top I just added a cube subdivided it a few times then bevel scaled it down created the shape that I wanted so it fits in my uh, cylinder here and just beveled it so it had a curve and placed it like so and then I just shift and then you just rotate it like so and you can also add a screen to your robot by going to edit mode selecting the face hitting E then clicking and scaling I want my screen here then I'm going to hit E now you can either pull it out screen like so or you can have a nice screen inside like so and then I just added a few buttons down there have a look at the original here I had a bit of detail on the top added some more detail there I also created these hollow things uh, they're just squares cut out um, yeah that's about it so this is the simple way on creating your own uh, models, robots. If you have uh, any problems or want any tips, just ask in the description um, in the comments below, and I'll be glad to help you. Uh, just to notify you, the materials were all diffusal or emission shaders, apart from our hologram, like floaty things, which were a emission and a transparent with a 0 0.8 factor and a pale blue sorry an electric blue um, that's about it thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope you learned a bit about um, just modeling things and in general using curves to create desired shapes um, thank you very much for watching and I shall catch you in my next video